Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, today, we're, I'm going to tell you about lesson 1-1. One, one, and it's called Unit Rates Involving Ratios of Fractions. And what are we going to see is we're going to find out how to find rates when we have one of or both quantities as fractions, right? So first of all, remember, what is a, a unit rate? Well, a uh, rate, it's a ratio that compares two quantities with unlike units, right? For example, I want to compare how many glasses of water can I drink in, uh, in an hour? So I'm comparing glasses of water with hours, right? Another common one is when we mm, try to convert how many gallons of gasoline does a car uh, waste or uses in um, in an hour, right? We're comparing hours with gallons and so on. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities in which for every X units of one quantity, there are Y units of another quantity, right? So that's a comparison that we make between two quantities. And a unit rate compares the first quantity for every one unit of a secondary quantity, right? If I tell you that my uh, car uses 36 uh, gallons in seven hours, I need to find first how many gallons does that car use in one hour? That's going to be the unit rate, right? So let's begin. We have an example here, an example number one. We need to find the unit rates for this problem. And it says, Tia is painting one, of, one side of her shed. She paints 36 square feet in 45 minutes. At this rate, how many square feet can she paint each hour? Right, so we need to find the unit rate, which means how many square feet can she paint in one hour? But if you see here, we don't have hours in our problem. It says 36 square feet in 45 minutes. The first thing we need to do is we need to put this 45 minutes into hours, right? So how are we going to do that? We're going to use the first method that is going to be the method of a bar diagram. And in this method, if you can see, we have the problem converted into fractions, okay? It says that 36 square feet if you see right here, we have 36 square feet, right? And it is telling us that that 36 feet, okay, all this 36 feet, right? It's painted in 45 minutes, okay? So if you say 45 minutes, we need to put it into a fraction, how many parts of the of the hour are 45 minutes. If we put the hour into fourths, each of these fourths would be 15 minutes. So this one will be 15, this one will be 15, this one will be 15, and this one also would be 15. And in total is the 60 minutes of an hour, right? So the 45 minutes, are going to represent three of this 45 uh, of this um, hour, right? I'm sorry, we have the bad one right here. <laughs> so if we see here, 45 minutes are three fourths of an hour, right? But it is asking how many square feet can you paint each hour? So in one hour, we have to add another fourth of the, of the hour so we can get the hour as a whole, like complete hour. Now, 
in 45 minutes, which is this green part right here, she paints 36 square feet, which means that every 15 minutes, every one fourth of an hour, she paints 12 feet squared, right? So 12 plus 12 plus 12, we get the 36 feet. And in another one fourth hour that we're missing, she is going to paint another 12 feet. Right, so in total, she would paint in one hour, this would be one hour, right? In total, she would paint 48 square feet, right? Square, well, we're going to put feet, feet square or square feet, right? So that's the way we do it in this method. Let's see another method. Remember, you can solve these problems uh, whichever method you find easiest, right? This is going to be the first method. We're going to use the second method. In the second method, we use uh, the double number line. In this double number line, we do the same thing. We put, well, in zero hours, she has painted zero square feet, right? Now, in one fourth hour, which is 15 minutes, two-fourths of an hour, which is a half an hour, and three-fourths of an hour, which are which is uh, 45 minutes, she has painted already 36 square feet, right? In 35, in three-fourths, she paints 36 square feet. If we add one more fourth, which is going to be the hour, she would have painted 48 square feet, right? So it's pretty much the same thing. The only thing is that we represent it in a double line, uh, in, in a double number line, right? In this method. In the third method, we use tables, right? We use ratio tables. What is this? Well, the first thing we need to do in these ratio tables is if we have the three fourths of an hour, the 45 minutes, right? We need to Download it to see how many square feet would she have painted in one fourth hour, which means that we're going to divide this fraction by three, right? But whatever you do in the hours section, you also have to do it in the square feet section. So if you divided this one by three, you have to divide this square feet by three also. Right? So we can know how many square feet can she paint in one fourth hour, right? Good. Now, when we do this one, now we can do the other one. We know that in one fourth hour, she paints 12 square feet. In three fourth hours, she paints 36 feet. In one more hour or in one hour, she would add one fourth, right? It's the same thing. So we're going to add this 12 to this 36 that she paints in three fourths hours. So she would paint 48 square feet. All right, it's pretty much the same thing. We only, we only put it in a different way. Good, now, in the fourth method, we use a simple division, right? What we do is we say, well, she is painting 36 feet in three fourths of an hour, right? Remember that the division, a division of a, a whole number divided into a fraction it's also called a complex fraction. And a complex fraction is a fraction in which the number, the numerator or the denominator, or both of them are fractions, right? Also fractions. So what we need to do, if you remember, uh, every whole number to be converted into a fraction needs to have a one as a denominator, right? So. 36 divided by 3 fourths is the same thing as 
36 over 1 multiplied by the inverse of this fraction, 4 over 3. And the multiplications, we do them directly. Okay, remember that part? So we have to multiply the both of the numerators. So we multiply 36 times 4, we get 144. And 3 times 1 or 1 times 3 is 3. When we do the division of 144 divided by 3, we get our 48 square feet. Right? So it's going to be like the same thing. Okay, very good. So all of these are the four methods that you have to solve one of these ratio problems that you need to find that unit rate, all right? I hope it's, uh, it's a little bit clear. If you have any questions, please let me know. And you can review this video as many times as you need to um, until you get it completely, all right? Thank you for being here and it's a pleasure.